back. Welcome back, folks. If you haven't gotten out of the bed yet, it's probably best to stay in the bed because it's yucky outside, right, Chris? That's a great plan. Yeah, <laughs> catch up on some binging. Mm. Oh, not do that yard work. I did it yesterday, so I got an excuse. We are looking at a much better day than what we had late afternoon yesterday, though. Even though it's raining today, we're not going to have a chance of this. Woof. Check out that insurance claim right there. You had some massive hail that came down. Listen closely. Yeah, and that volume is turned down and you saw anywhere from ping pong to golf ball size hail. It was quite the situation there and then you're seeing just hail galore and then here is what we're looking at right now on the radar. You can just see those widespread rain showers that are now upon us, but we're not expecting any of those thunderstorms. So we are thankful for that. So here's what went down. Yesterday we saw hail size about the size of golf balls. That is about 1.75 inches in diameter. And here I'll show you exactly what that looks like here of as of yesterday. There was a little supercell, so a rotating thunderstorm. 100% of all supercells produce hail. Oftentimes it's large, and then sometimes they can produce a tornado, such as right here in the hook. So this was classically called a TVS, but we did not have any tornado associated, just some massive hail, as Mary Rose said to me from around the Rock Hill area. Here's the rain on the map right now. Now that it's really closed in the gaps around Mecklenburg County, you can expect to rain for several hours, especially south of I-85. That's where the heaviest rain is going to be. This is how your sky is going to look. So if you have any plans today, just note that maybe it's a rain jacket type of day. We will hit a little bit of a lull a little bit later on, but we're going to be waiting on it. And you can see the drops here on the lens on top of the government center in Monroe. Mets versus the Charlotte Knights. I am by default an optimist. I'm not going to be optimistic that you're going to get this game in. So likely the tarp is going to be staying there because I think we have widespread rain until at least two o'clock. Here's the deal. If the Charlotte Knights decide to push this into a late afternoon game, I think that that's going to work out because watch what happens here on the radar. 11 o'clock. This is a lot of rain, by the way, that's come down the field, so they might not just want to jeopardize the integrity of the field and maybe just push this one back. By 1 to 2 o'clock, we are starting to see some breaks, so it's only really light rain, so it depends on if they're going to squeeze this game in around. So there is some hope that by this point, by 4 o'clock, things are starting to dry out a little bit, and by the evening, things are looking much better. If this was an evening game, I wouldn't worry about it. Just like Charlotte FC, I think you might have a stray sprinkle come 6 o'clock when they have the first kickoff, but then it might even be a little bit brighter, seeing a little bit of glimmer of sunshine by the last hour or two of the day and sun officially setting at 8.02. So some optimism here. I always say bring a towel to dry that seat, though. One more dose of optimism. The best thing about a rainy day is we have a low pollen count. It is at a two. That's the lowest that I go. And then we're right back up to that very high, high range about Monday and Tuesday. Overnight tonight, a little bit cooler. We have the lower 40s. High temperatures today, Pretty much this number 51 to 54 so temperatures not moving too much. The coldest morning looks to be Tuesday at this point. We will see some freezing temperatures in the mountains still not in their technical growing season. So no frost advisories or freeze warnings hour by hour through tomorrow. We're seeing a nice mix of cloud and sunshine loving this forecast rolling forward lower to the mid 60s, but that's still cool for this time of year. We should be about 74. Ah, alas, there it is. Tuesday looks to be wall to wall sunshine lower to the mid 70s, upper 70s on Wednesday and we'll be back to the upper 70s again on Saturday. And if I had day eight on this forecast next Sunday, the mid 80s. So a nice warm up on the way.